Hello everybody. Welcome back to another food vlog thing. Yeah, that's yeah my style of vlog where I'm just talking about some pictures. All right, so yeah, like I said in some uh, recent comments and videos, yeah, I've been focusing on exercising and trying to eat more healthier. Yeah, so yeah, I mean I I've never been a big fan of eating outside restaurant food and. I'm fortunate enough to have my parents prepare most of my food but uh, turns out I don't really like their food that much actually because they just like the restaurants they don't add as much sauces and salt and sugar and sodium and etc and condiments but they they add some of it and turns out I don't really like it that much all right yeah uh, yeah so that's just me that's just my personal taste buds preferences I like to taste the original flavors of the you know the meat and vegetables and fruits and stuff I don't like to add too much stuff to it I still I still can add but not as much all right so yeah and plus I need to learn to be independent anyway you know my parents aren't gonna be around for forever you know that's just the sad reality the truth of it uh, so yeah it's better that I try to learn to prepare my own food that I that matches my taste now you know yeah, because I'm going to have to do it eventually, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Since I'm definitely not going to be eating, you know, restaurant fast food stuff anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this is just a very simple, uh, I guess, soup. Uh, it's just water, cold water with all these ingredients. They're all frozen, by the way. This is the cuttlefish, scallops. The green stuff is the peas and then the yellow stuff is the corn all right so it's m like so the the scallops and the cuttlefish that's mostly protein and then the corn and the peas it, that's the carbs the sugars and the fibers all right and the and the shellfish the seafood should have some fat in it yeah so yeah uh if i wanted to add some more uh nutrients to it uh some uh some more calories i probably would have added some like oatmeal all right <laughs> yeah not probably not what you want uh seafood oatmeal is anyone eat doing that i don't know <laughs> all right yeah so i i like to eat weird things all right and yeah like i said there was no seasoning for this and yeah the cuttlefish was the worst definitely the worst part of it it was very bland and the peas i don't like green peas i don't know why i i like peas in a pod you know like when they're still inside the pods like the sweet peas and all that stuff they still taste good green beans but if it's just the peas by themselves i don't know why it's maybe it's because it's frozen it doesn't taste as good just like the corn i love eating corn off the cob or the canned corn that's definitely loaded with sugary water and syrup but the frozen corn doesn't taste as sweet and the scallop it was actually pretty good despite being boiled of most of its flavor it still had retained some you know flavor into it all right and then here's uh here's the just steam scallop my my mom helped with this because i don't know how to steam food i mean i know how to steam food you just put water in the in the in the pan or the wok and then you put the plate with your food in and you steam it but i don't know how long and how much heat and stuff like that I'll, i'm definitely gonna have to figure it out later but for the most part i'm lazy i do usually just uh, boil everything or stir fry because yeah I, i'm just relying on the visual cue you know if the water is boiling you leave it there for a few minutes then it's good to go pretty much stir fry we're just uh stirring it around and you see the food change color it's cooked all right and then you just just for safety you put the lead over it for a couple of minutes and yeah definitely cooked <laughs> all right yeah uh i guess steam is the same similar you just you just leave it the lid open i mean there's really no no not much harm in overcooking your food it just might not taste as good and uh and it might destroy some nutrients but yeah yeah still way better than eating junk food all right all right too much rambling so this is the last one so yeah so this one had it looks a lot more appetizing i'm sure because this is i stir fried it uh this was for me and my parents uh yeah uh they didn't like the tempeh so uh so basically here's the shrimp here's the cuttlefish here's the tempeh it's uh fermented soybeans but it's like 
smashed together into a brick so kind of like tofu but uh it's supposed to be healthier it has more protein and fiber and also more carbs because they also add in stuff like uh rice and grains and millet and like other yeah so yeah so even though there's so this kind of like fried rice but without the seafood fried rice but instead of rice i put in tempeh yeah <laughs> All right. I could have easily uh, just mashed up the tempeh and crumble it up. And then, yeah, you could probably possibly mistake it for like rice pretty much. All right. And then the green stuff is chives and uh, the yellow bits stuck to the chives. That's either the tempeh pieces that came out or the pieces of scrambled egg. All right. So it was one egg, but I added in so much other stuff that you can barely see the egg. Yeah. So I just scramble it up and it yeah it just basically disintegrated the egg all right that's fine it's not aesthetically pleasing but yeah whatever as long as it's there you eat it all right yeah i didn't want to add too many eggs because uh the shellfish already has cholesterol in it so adding if i wanted like you know three eggs the one for each person yeah it would it would have been more visible but that's way too much cholesterol all right so yeah uh, for seasoning, I did add onion, some onion powder and gu uh, garlic powder. I was about to say gunion powder. <laughs> garlic and onion powder, yeah. So no salt, no pepper, no sugar, no soy sauce, no oyster sauce, and you know, no shrimp sauce. Like my parents like to add in like all those Asian sauces. Yeah. Or, yeah, they might, yeah. So I don't like it that much. They're really way too salty. So, yeah. And they also add added sugar, so I'm I'm just trying to be eating as healthy and, and clean as possible. So like yeah, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, this is just it for this video, pretty much. So if you're interested in seeing stuff like this, you know, smash the like and post comments down below. I have other pictures I of stuff that I've cooked uh, either recently or the past few months, you know, or last year, etc. Yeah, definitely if I ever do mukbang videos again, it would definitely be something like this, but in a much smaller portion, all right? So maybe like one fourth of this or one third. So this is like for four, three people. Something like this, very little food. Yeah, something I could eat in a couple of minutes, all right? Because I'm always busy with work and my parents are always home and they're making noise interrupting me. So uh, yeah, I want, I have thought about it. I want to make the, the new mukbang videos, but I don't know. All right. For now, I'll just make these kind of picture videos and then, and also uh, release the old mukbang videos that I recorded but never uploaded. All right. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.